Hi, Karen with you today, sharing another layout for Kidaholics kits for the month of July, I, as I'm guest designing for them this month. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's layout I'm featuring using a lot of the Vicky Booten ephemera pack. You know, the really large pieces that can sometimes be a little daunting. And I will admit at first I was a little daunted, but then I decided to embrace it. And I've used a lot on this layout to actually put a pretty big clusters around my page. So I started off with that amazing blue background paper. Oh my goodness, how good is that blue? Um, and I really loved the, pa the paper with the grid and the yellow stripe. I thought that would be really a contrast against that blue. And the punchinella, how perfect is that? Gives it a little bit more of a grungier feel. I'm doing a photo of my um, eldest, my, my only um, boy, who's now in his 20s. This photo was taken a couple of years ago. So I decided what I'd do with this one was to put a little bit of um, mixed media, really little bit though. I grabbed out some acry white acrylic paint that I just get from Spotlight. It's really cheap. It's nothing special. Um, I watered it down with a little bit of water and splattered away. I just love how that comes up against the blue. <laughs> you see me shaking my hands there and trying to cool it off. It's because my heat gun died a few weeks ago in a in a mishap where I dropped and um, didn't realize a whole heap of Dina Wakely gloss spray had fallen over it when I dropped an entire bottle basically all over my table. So I decided that um, <clears throat> I ripped off that yellow piece and left a little bit of that grid paper there as well. And I've pulled out that T square ruler. I tell you what, there's a knack to using that. I am, uh, it's only new to me. I've seen so many people use them. Um, I think am I, maybe I'm the only person that can still not do anything straight by using a T-square ruler. I'm not sure about that, but it's certainly not great for me. So then I stuck down the punchinella there across the page as well. And I really, look, really, really liked the look of that. And I backed my, paper, my photo. I didn't actually, I normally use tissue paper behind my photos, but I didn't do that this time and just use that grid paper to give it a little bit of an edge and I left some of the torn edge as well to give it that little bit of a roughed up feel. So once I've done that I'd already decided my photo was going to be on the right hand side of the page. I tend to, most of my layouts generally are either left or right. It's very rare for me to do something smack bang in the middle. It's just I think I lean to the left in most cases. Um, and this time I just decided I was just going to pretty much try and use up as many of these large ephemera pieces as I could. Even though it's a boy layout, you most a lot of people who know me know I don't care about that. And I'll put flowers and all that sort of stuff on anything. So I did try um, to give a little bit of depth here as well. So some, I've, I have popped my pieces up on foam and I even decided I'd use those budgie birds because really I'm not normally a bird person. So I was a little bit concerned that I was never going to use those budgies. But actually, I really like how they turned out. I then decided it needed a little bit more up on the top left hand side just to give that page just a little bit of balance out there at the top. So I just decided to repeat the what I'd done down the bottom by using some of the yellow with a little tiny bit of that grid and some punchinella on the top as well. I have also grabbed the Paige Evans sticker book and put um, stuck down some flowers and just fussy cut around those and just turn them into a more of a um, ephemera piece. Um, if And I just cut it, I just stuck it down on white cardstock um, just to give it that little bit of edge as well. So because obviously that those Paige Evans ones are quite see-through. So I wanted to give them some sort of strength there as well underneath those. I looked around a little bit. I didn't find a huge amount that I really wanted to use in this particular part one. I really stuck this to the really large ephemera 
from the Vicky Booten. Just added a few flowers on the top there just to tie in those colors. I really like to have colors and the way I do my layouts, generally speaking, when I particularly when I've done a lot of layers, I try to have the similar colors within each cluster. So I know that this cluster has turned into one large cluster and there's no separation between that cluster, but there's still, generally speaking, you'll see there that I've got some orange and some blue and some greens and yellows all in the left and there's also that sort of colors on the right hand side. And I'm also doing the same at the top as well. So I've got the yellow for the paper. I've got a blue flower. I've got some orange and, I add it, and I'm adding in some thread here as well. I decided to go quite dark with the thread and just used navy blue. That's just from my stash, just cheap old cotton. Um, that's as much as you'll ever see me do with cotton pretty much. I do not sew. Um, that is the one thing I don't do on my layouts. Um, and it's really because sewing for me is a chore. I'm not a big fan. Uh, I love them on other people's layouts though. I can't get over what people do to layouts, but it's not something that you'll ever really see me do. So I went through the ephemera, made sure there was nothing else to go. Look at me tidying up my desk. It was getting a little bit overwhelming. And that's pretty much the end of my layout really. So I also decided I was trying to work out what the title was going to be. These are great, these stickers from Fifth and Monaco from Pink Paisley. Uh, they're word stickers. And this particular one, I did actually use the words. I've said, love you. I know it's a pretty boring old title, but I do. And what I often do though with these sheets is I don't necessarily use them for the words. I use them for the letters. But this particular time, the, the, the project is actually love you and there is those words there. And I decided to use the black ones, the black letters for this, just to tie in a little bit more of that black from the because of that punchinella being across that whole page as well. So I thought that tied in all the colors now across that page. Now you'll see here and you'll see in any of my past, if you've ever watched any of my YouTube videos, or ever seen any of my layouts, I don't do a lot of journaling. Partly that is because I really dislike my handwriting and I know that that's a cop out, but it's not something I really like to do. So I often have a lot of my journaling on the back. I'm also not a big, although you would think I'm a not a big talker, but I'm not a big writer of things. I do have though, when I put my layouts away, I do often put notes on the back uh, just to, just as a little bit of a story, just you know, sometimes I just scrap because I love to scrap and I'm just sitting at my desk and I'm just churning out something that I think's pretty or something I really like to do. So it's not necessarily always to keep a specific memory. Like this particular photo here, I know what we were doing then. I might forget it's written on the back. I know it was at Christmas time and that's all I need to know. It's just a, it's just basically a happy snap of Jacob. So it's, um, I hope I make sense there. It's not. I'm not saying that I don't agree with what people do. It's just something that I don't do a lot of. So there's not a lot of journaling on my pages, although I do like to put um, word strips and things like that. And you'll see that coming up in one of my layouts later in the month as well. So I was just doing one final check of the page Evans. Every time I look at this sticker book, I find something else to use. So I added just a couple of little flowers just around the place just to finish it off, just to give it that little extra final flourish, I guess. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. <laughs> so um, sometimes I stick things down and then I take them off later. I didn't do that with this particular one. Um, but yeah, I did. I did. Um, every time I've looked at this, seriously, every time I look at that sticker book, I find something else. Um, I was working with it earlier today on another layout and yep, it was absolutely... Every time I looked at it, I didn't know what to do. Um, so I did one more, f one more go, one more few of the ephemera pack. Did I miss anything? Did I really fit? Could I fit anything else on? And no, I couldn't. So there's the final layout. I actually really love how this got to came together. Look at those birds. Absolutely perfect. So I've got some short, I've got some f a few close ups there for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have really enjoyed working with this month's 
kit. And I hope you have a great scrappy week. Thank you. Bye-bye.